Okay, in this video, I will teach you how you can set up pop player for hardware acceleration to save your CPU and the batteries and uh, some other settings. So first, you search pop player, and this is a quite good player. It support hardware acceleration. Uh, unlike VLC, it's it's like a VLC. It can play almost formats, almost all the formats. But VLC doesn't support hardware acceleration, and it's a uh, all-in-one player. So basically, just one player. You don't need any plugins. Uh, uh, unlike the uh, MPC, uh, it require external plugins. So you search pod player. And it probably give you some many results. You see all of these, especially the first one provided by DuckDuckGo. It's a fake one. I will show you this as a fake one. Please don't download fake one. The fake one. This is the fake one. I will show you the, you the real one. The real one is this one. So it's popplayer.dem. Dot net, not dot com like this one. The real one, the page looks like this. Okay, you download the sixty-four bit. I don't think anybody using thirty-two anymore. After you download, you run the exe and you got pop player. And the only hotkey you need to know is Alt plus Enter for full screen. You see this video, the H and W is not highlighted. That means it's using software. Basically, your, your CPU will be busy and then drawing more battery. So please use hardware acceleration. So your CPU can be uh, less overloaded. So let's start. Click here and preferences. Let's start from the beginning. So, the first option I want to change is check for update. No, never. It's quite annoying. For uh, it's quite annoying if it's constantly update. Maybe a one week for one update. Uh, it's quite annoying. So I don't want check for update. The second one is multiple instance. My habit is disable. I prefer only one window, not multiple window. Okay, so the second option is to filter. Click the filter control, video decoder, built in codec DXVA settings. You say use DXVA. And for this prioritize D3D11, you can check if you are using Windows 10, but if you are using the older OS like Windows 7 or XP, uh, you don't check this one. Make sure all here, all here choose VLD bit string decoder. And the DXVA2 copy back, you can just leave it. Okay, so next thing you go to video, video render. From auto, you change to built in direct 3D 11 video render. And here, also the same if you are not using Windows 10 but the older one, uh, you can choose maybe built in D3D 9 uh, video render or using a EVR custom per set. As I saying, you can probably leave it by default. The next thing is the color space. Here, you see it's BT601, change to BT709. So basically, nowadays, the most content is BT709 on the internet. Uh, this is too old. 709 is the best color profile you can use for
for non-HDR uh, content. So after that, you are pretty much done in video. There's one very important thing in audio is you click the audio normalizer, uncheck this enable, uncheck this enable normalizer. So basically, if you check this thing by def this thing is checked by default and your sound will be very your, your audio will be sounds awful so please disable this thing apply then your sound will be decent okay that's it if you play this thing again now you see the H and W logo is highlighted. That means we are using hardware acceleration. Uh, another thing I want to mention is say performance, filter control, uh, audio decoder, built-in audio decoder pass-through settings. So. Here you can set audio pass through through SPDF or HDMI. What does this mean? It means uh, if you are using a uh, PC or mini PC hooked to your uh, AV receiver or audio amplifier, you can play movies. Uh, basically, your PC will not decode. AC3, those surround sound tracks. Your PC will, for example, if I say uh, default pass through mixer, it means the PC you are using will not decode the audio. It will send to your AV receiver or audio amplifier. Let the audio amplifier or AV receiver to decode the audio. You will see the lights on the audio amplifier. AC3 will light up, or Dolby Digital will light up, or H True HD will light up, or DTS will light up. If you don't pass through, if you don't pass through, your uh, AV receiver probably will show only stereo audio or uh, multi-channel PCM audio. So it's not pure. So if you uh, you want pure, you use uh, pass through. But for most case, you don't need it because uh, probably you are using a laptop or a desktop play locally, not uh, using the AV receiver. Okay, so that's it. Enjoy.